Hello everyone, my name is Rachel. Um, some of my interests are crocheting, painting, reading, uh, movies. I hope, you know, one day they reopen once, you know, COVID goes away. Um, I have two guinea pigs who are super cute and are like, oh, they're so cute and chunky. I love my babies. And then um, I have a cat named Cupcake and I've had her since I was 10 years old. And now I'm 24, so I've had her for 14 years. She is my old baby. Um, I love that girl. She's so cute. So, like, when I'm typing, she'll, like, put her head on my shoulder. Or, like, she'll grab her, like, my arm with, like, her paw. So cute. It makes me, like, cupcake after work. But you're so cute. Um, what else? Um... Uh, Oh, uh, my future dream is to have a corgi. That's when I'm like, I made it in life, you know. Ha that is a big goal of mine. I even, on my desk, have a corgi planter. So if I have to get a new plant, because um, I don't have a green thumb, so my plants usually die. <laughs> but I love I love corgis. Um, I got my bachelor's degree in psychology. I think the mind is fascinating. Um... Now I'm getting my master's in special education. Um, I was in special education and I want to help my future students to succeed and go after their dreams. Yeah. Um, also, what else? Oh, uh, the five most important uh, competencies I believe a teacher should possess to successfully work with children with uh, low incidence. <laughs> Incident disabilities is one is patient. You have to be patient. You have to like relax, you know, help the child at their speed, whatever their speed is, because you don't want to rush them, you know. Uh, creativity, because you never know, or you, you have to be creative in helping to meet to their needs or coming up with something to help them. Um, flexibility, because you know. They might be like, today's not the day we're doing this. And you have to be like, all right, you know, we got to be flexible and try to understand that there's bad days. So like, you know, you got to, you got to be flexible and, you know, work through it. Um, organization, you have to be organized, all that paperwork. Don't want to lose it, you know. Um, I think kindness, showing that you're like kind and want to like help them and just, you know, that you have your their best interest in your mind. I think that's super important. Um, five challenges that I think um, teachers working with low incident students could face is um, a lack of support, um, not enough resources. Um, you might handle like illness or like, mm, hopefully not death, but you know, you never know how bad their illness may be. So you have to be prepared. Um, a lot of paperwork. Um, also, like uh, trying to do um, like assignments, but dealing with like a lot of um, variability of needs, I would say would be like the fifth one. Um, so yeah, that was, that's it. <laughs> all right. Uh, I am so excited to work with all of you and um, Looking forward to the semester. All right. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>